Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. 7th grade, Unit 3, Lesson 2. Exploring Circles. Glossary Terms. Circle. A circle is made out of all the points that are the same distance from a given point. For example, every point on this circle is 5 centimeters away from point A, which is the center of the circle. Circumference. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. If you imagine the circle as a piece of string, it is the length of the string. If the circle has a radius, r, then the circumference is 2 times pi times r. The circumference of a circle of radius 3 is 2 times pi times 3 equals 6 times pi, which is about 18 and 85 hundredths. Diameter. A diameter is a line segment that goes from one edge of a circle to the other and passes through the center. A diameter can go in any direction. Every diameter of the circle is the same length. We also use the word diameter to mean the length of this segment. For example, D is the diameter of this circle with center zero. All these diameters are the same length for this circle. Radius. A radius is a line segment that goes from the center to the edge of a circle. A radius can go in any direction. Every radius of the circle is the same length. We also use the word radius to mean the length of this segment. For example, R is the radius of this circle with center zero. Each of these line segments represent the radius for this circle, and each of these line segments are all the same length. Learning Goals Compare orally different ways to measure a circle and generalize the relationship between radius and diameter. Comprehend the terms diameter, center, radius, and circumference in reference to parts of a circle. Describe orally and in writing the defining characteristics of a circle. Student Learning Goals Let's explore circles. Student Learning Targets I can describe the characteristics that make a shape a circle. I can identify the diameter, center, radius, and circumference of a circle. Problem number one. Use a geometric tool to draw a circle. Draw and measure a radius and a diameter of the circle. One geometric tool that you could use is called a compass, and you can use this compass to draw a circle. Imagine that this was a perfect circle this would be the diameter, and let's say it measures two inches. Since the diameter measures two inches, that would mean that the radius would measure one inch. Problem number two. Here is a circle with center H and some line segments and curves joining points of the circle. Identify examples of the following. Explain your reasoning. A. Diameter. Line segments DG and AE are line segments that represent the diameter. They are line segments that go through the center from one side of the circle to the other. Radius. Line segments AH, DH, EH, and GH are all line segments that represent the radius of this circle. They are line segments that go from the center to the circle. Problem number three. Lynn measured the diameter of a circle in two different directions. Measuring vertically, she got 3.5 centimeters, and measuring horizontally, she got 3.6 centimeters. Explain some possible reasons why these measurements differ. Maybe Lynn did not measure from the tallest section of the circle, or maybe it was not a perfect circle. Problem number four from seventh grade, unit two, lesson one. A small test batch of lemonade used one fourth cup of sugar added to one cup of water and one fourth cup of lemon juice. After confirming it tasted good, a larger batch is going to be made with the same ratio using 10 cups of water 
How much sugar should be added so that the large batch tastes the same as the test batch? I'm going to make a double number line representing cups of sugar and cups of water. I'll put tick marks representing 0 through 10. For one cup of water, there's one fourth cup of sugar. Moving from left to right on the bottom number line that represents cups of water, I can count by ones, all the way through 10 cups. And the top number line represents sugar, so we will be counting by one fourth cups of sugar. For 10 cups of water, we'd have 10 fourths cups of sugar, and 10 fourths cups of sugar is equivalent to two and a half cups of sugar. So for the larger batch, we would need two and a half cups of sugar. Problem number five, from seventh grade, unit two, lesson 13. The graph of a proportional relationship contains the point with coordinates three and 12. What is the constant of proportionality of the relationship? I'm going to make a table with the x value on the left, which is 3, and the y value on the right, which is 12. Since 3 times 4 is 12, the constant of proportionality is 4. Let me give you an example. In the x column, let's put 1, 2, and 3. Multiply 1 times 4 to get 4, 2 times 4 to get 8, and 3 times 4 to get 12. The constant of proportionality is 4. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.